My name is uh, Michel Saban, and I am the director of the Center for Cell Engineering at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. CAR T cell immunotherapy is, you know, often described as having revolutionized immunotherapy of cancer. Why is, why is that? CAR therapy is a very novel form of medicine um, because it uses as the drug not a chemical, not a protein, but a cell. And furthermore, it's not a natural cell. It is a cell initially collected from the patient, but it is then modified. It is genetically instructed to acquire new properties. So it's novel in so far that the treatment itself is based on a cell, a cell that's genetically engineered, a cell that is reprogrammed, if you like. And furthermore, it is reprogrammed using a synthetic receptor. I think the cars have uh, attracted much attention also because of the very remarkable results obtained in a number of different B cell malignancies. B cell malignancies comprise various leukemias and lymphomas. And the target that we chose, named CD19, is found on most of these leukemias. And when the first trials begun, those trials, like any other trial in, in oncology, focused on patients who had relapsed and refractory disease. Those patients had really no other treatment to turn to. They had all exhausted all available treatments. And not only did some of those patients respond to the treatment, but most of them did. Up to 90% of patients with leukemia actually responded to this treatment. And they weren't just a response. They were what's called a complete response, and most of them being what is called a molecular response, meaning that the disease became undetectable. And so I think that both the approach and also these, uh, I guess one could say, spectacular results in patients with refractory, very severe disease are what uh, really caused the commotion, if you like, mm. and attracted so much interest and today so much enthusiasm.